Alright guys, welcome to your second Ionic tutorial in which we'll be setting it up, the Ionic framework, with our project. So, if we just look at the documentation, and yeah, one thing I have to tell you is that there's a sort of Ionic 2 as well available. So, just like Ionic works with Angular JS, Ionic 2 works with Angular 2. Well, I do have tutorials for Angular 2 as well, and I could actually teach Ionic 2 as well. But for the series, I'm just gonna stick with Ionic 1 only. And uh, it's not that Ionic 1 and Ionic 2 are pretty much same. They have differences, and uh, yes, a lot of differences because of Angular 2. So we'll be covering Ionic 2 someday later on in a different playlist but for ionic 1 we are just gonna stick with it for this whole series and the angular js only so you don't have to worry about that this is going outdated because it would be in support for a long time so you can just stick with these tutorials and use angular js as well instead of angular 2 for with ionic 2 so now starting off first of all we need to install some basic things so what i'm gonna do is first of all i am in my working directory for ky tutorials and ionic you can just go ahead and on your desktop you can just create a folder ionic learning or something like that and just open terminal right there so make sure your terminal points there and uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste this line npm yeah and for this to work first of all what you have to do is just go to node.js.org and download node just download this version or this version and just you know just follow up with the setup instructions just click on next next and you'll be good to go so once you're done with that what you'll get is something known as as a node package manager the npm and uh, yeah so once you are done installing node then just open your terminal and uh, right click and it will automatically come inside your terminal and hit enter now once you hit enter and this g flag just means that install this cordova ionic framework as a global framework so this framework is not only just restricted to my uh, this folder right there the white tooth slash ionic but this would be available for all of the projects even if I create something outside this folder so let it just complete itself now right here we see that Windows users we strongly recommend to use Visual Studio well I am not a sort of you know some people just like do like IDEs to code I don't like IDEs that's my personal opinion but if you just if you just find IDEs comfortable like if you are just comfortable with Visual Studio then you can go ahead and just follow along with these tutorials with Visual Studio actually as well but the only difference would be like you would get some sort of more buttons and buttons and GUI tools to just test your application or just set up the things and nothing else kind of so we'll be just making use of the command line and you'll be sort of just you know making use of buttons with visual studio so it's um, really up to you if you want to just make use of the visual studio or this uh, the command line stuff well I find this command line um, uh, better than the IDE one because you know just kind of just makes sure that you learn everything and you learn actually something new every time so this is the visual studio tools or for the bash cordova so you can just make use of this as well if you like all right so it might take a bit to download so let's just see if this really or I can just even pause the video for a while while this is downloading so yeah so see you on the other end buddies alright so looks like it's sort of done so let me just clear out the console 
here we go nice and clean console and uh, the next thing we have is starting a project right so what I'm gonna say is ionic start and it saves me my app so what we named it I guess we didn't name it at all for now so this would be kind of my project name so I'm gonna say start my app a world instead of my app and this tabs is sort of your layout the dummy one so let's just say tabs and hit enter it says me creating ionic app in folder so it's sort of downloading some stuff and it's pretty much done so I'm just gonna wait a sec more six five four three two one and done so it saves me initializing the project and uh, I'm just waiting waiting and waiting for it to complete and here we go so it says me create an ionic account to send push notifications and use ionic view well that doesn't sound very bad so let's just go with it so it has opened a new window for me so I'm just gonna wait for the login page for now it just got me back to my directory listing so well okay so let's perform a reload so that the page looks a bit better so it is sign a form well why not just sign this up Mail mpt gmail.com and this is a secret so now obviously the password wasn't this is a secret so if you just might try it out so okay I'm just gonna leave this as it is so I'm gonna try out now with uh, my application actually so we had this one and this one so now to start our application let's just change the directory to hello world and once you are inside it write ionic surf now what this is gonna do is it's gonna select an address for you and it's gonna prompt it for your for uh, on which address you want to launch your application the local host one so it's prompting me for four addresses out of which two are for VMware so I'm just gonna go with local host and you might as well so this is uh, the same URL I'm using right here so I could probably just open this right here only so if I just kind of shrink this down to a phone size now you can see that it pretty much looks like as if you if you are working on a phone so this looks like that you are kind of working on a phone so this is a tabular interface which we just selected when we just created our application we had a bunch of more options I guess for this was a tabs one that we had uh, this side menu and the blank one as well well we'll be taking a look at what this code is and how does it actually work like so we have this index.html and it is the same index which is displayed right here so if I can just get to localhost 8100 this is the dashboard so 
this is as you can see this is all sort of angular stuff going on here and I guess I need to dig a uh, dip uh, uh, that was a tongue twister sort of so I need to dig a bit deep into this code and we'll be discussing about how this code works sort of from the next tutorial onwards so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching